Today I'm going to show you guys how to use keyframes in the color tab. For those of you guys that don't know, the color tab or the color page as many call it is this area right here. Usually people look over here by default and they see, oh, I mean, that's cool and all, but how do I change the colors and stuff? Now, I did show a video in the past where you could make a use of an adjustment clip and do it that way, but there is another way. And by the way, yes, this is a YouTube short. I'm going to be putting it on this channel, in fact, after it's done. So definitely look forward to that, I guess. But yeah. So first, what we will want to do is, of course, have an image. This is the image we've chosen. Have the format you want it in, all that good stuff. And then we are going to go over to the color tab, okay? By default, this should be selected. But if it's not, what we're using is, well, really, we don't need anything over here. I guess I drop a tool or where it is, it's fine. What we want to look for is over here, okay? There are three things here. that this, that information, and that keyframes. We want to click on keyframes, okay? It's very important. And then up here is where your nodes are. If you don't see it, just click on the Nodes tab. It's no big deal at all. And then from the Nodes tab, we aren't going to begin with the process yet. We are going to create a duplicate of this, per se. Right-click on the Node, and then click on Add Node, Add Serial, so there we go with that. The reason we're doing that because we want to actually do all our changes on the second node thing. So that means if we mess up or something, we can default to the primary. And as you can see, it's called two here. You can technically, you can rename it to whatever you want, but we are going to keep it two, okay? And then if we go down here to the keyframe section, under two, we see the keyframes. We want to, or we can click on this, and then that will start the process for keyframing. And then we will drag here. This is actually the playhead, so instead of dragging the whole playhead, we are dragging it. We're going to drag it to about the middle here. And then what we're going to do is bring the hue all the way to 100. Yes. We're going to bring the hue all the way to 100. And then we are going to go all the way to the very end here. And then bring the hue back to zero, yeah. And then that should create all the keyframes we need. So now if we play this, it will cycle through the colors all the way to what we want it to. And then it would cycle back, start again, then cycle through the color. Now, alternatively, if we didn't want any of that, we could just delete this keyframe, delete this keyframe, and then we could literally start at zero. Then we could go here and change this to 100. Alternatively, we could also change this to a hundred as well. And then that will be affected in the same keyframe. So what will happen is 
it will just get more dramatic as time goes on. Let's play this and see what's up. Okay, as you can see, it is rightfully cycling. And now we go back to our edited version. As you can see, we have the fully edited thing right there with the keyframes and the color changing just fine. And as a bonus, if we come back to the color tab, say we don't want this, we want the original back, we can just click on here and it would disable that and give us only the original. So yeah, hopefully this helped you guys in some way, shape or form. If it did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the feature. Later.